we can expose people to everything bad about how they live and everything that they're doing to hurt the environment and animals and maybe even themselves and people will still just go potentially, yeah, I know, but that's how I live. How do you live with that? And how do you live with that when you're trying to expose people to the things that they're doing? It's just incredibly difficult. I mean, I find it difficult in my own life when I make my own choices and I find it difficult in conversations with others. Um, I think there's a difference between knowing something in an intellectual way and knowing it in your heart. Um, there's like a distance between being informed and being activated or inspired. And it's very, very tricky to be activated. I think about it all the time um, with regards to the environment, you know, which is absolutely central to this subject. We are used to making this distinction between climate change deniers and people who believe the science of climate change. But in fact, in terms of the ways that we behave, we're virtually identical. Yeah, both are doing the exact, living the exact same way. And so our grandchildren will look back, and I'm not sure they will make any distinction between one kind of denial, the denial of intellect, and the denial of practice. And one way you look at it, you could say climate change deniers are more honest with themselves. At least they have a reason for doing what for not doing, or you know, for, they, have a, they have a reason for being inactive. So I think you know, one of the first steps is the acknowledgement that it's hard, just what you were saying. I think yeah. we, we sometimes think about like life changes, especially with, in terms of habits, as um, you either do it or you don't do it, like a, a binary on and off, as opposed to a constant struggle over the course of a lifetime. I think people feel that struggle with things like honesty. You know, it's very hard to be honest. And we try to tell the truth, and sometimes we tell white lies, and sometimes for very good reasons. But it's not as if once we tell a lie, we suddenly become lying people who lie all the time. Instead, we look at it, life as this series of choices and a series of efforts. And for me, you know, I wrote a book about meat eating, um, spent years researching it, spent years talking about it, and I still find it to be a struggle. 